Welcome to our educational video on neoplasia. In this video, we will discuss about carcinogenesis. What is carcinogenesis? Carcinogenesis means mechanism of induction of tumors. The agents which can induce tumors are called carcinogens. Next, we will discuss about the etiology, pathogenesis, and types of carcinogenesis. The mechanism as to how a normal cell is transformed to a cancer cell is complex. There are various theories that explain these mechanisms as shown. What are the genes related to cancer and cell growth? Before that, what is the gene function in cancer? Genes control normal cellular growth, but in cancer, these controlling genes are altered typically by mutations. These are the genes related to cancer and cell growth. Growth promoting oncogenes, growth suppressing anti oncogenes, genes regulating apoptosis in cancer, DNA damage and repair system, microRNAs in cancer. Before understanding each gene related to cancer, let's understand how a tumor forms. Due to stress on cell like radiations, chemicals, viruses, or any other etiological agent, the cell DNA and other cell organelles damages which can be reversible by DNA repair mechanisms. If the damage is irreversible, then the cell activates apoptosis. But if there is mutation in genes regulating apoptosis leading to inhibition of apoptosis forming mutated cells, this leads to activation of oncogenes and activation, anti-oncogenes and apoptosis regulating genes. By these changes, the cell proliferates in progress forming tumor. Now let's study genes related to cancer and cell growth. Growth promoting oncogenes. Mutated form of normal proto-oncogenes in cancer is called oncogenes. Proto-oncogenes can become oncogenes through mutations, retroviral insertion, DNA damage, or gene amplification leading to uncontrolled cellular proliferation. Proto-oncogenes can transform into oncogenes through three mechanisms. Point mutations chromosomal translocations, and gene amplification. These are the oncogenes that encode for components of cell signaling system for promoting cell proliferation, growth factors, receptors of growth factors, cytoplasmic signal transduction proteins, nuclear transcription proteins, cell cycle regulatory proteins, growth factors, they are small polypeptides and the first proto-oncogenes discovered in code for cell proliferation cascades. They stimulate cell proliferation through paracrine action binding to cell surface receptors. These are some examples of growth factors. Receptors of growth factors. Growth factors transported intracellularly by specific receptors activate cell proliferation pathways. Mutated forms of these receptors often resulting from oncogenes can stimulate proliferation even without growth factor binding. These are some examples of receptors of growth factors. Cytoplasmic signal transduction proteins. These relay signals from cell surface receptors to the nucleus activating intracellular growth pathways. These are some examples of signal transduction proteins. Nuclear transcription factors. The signal transduction pathway starting with growth factors reaches the nucleus regulating DNA transcription and inducing cell entry into S phase. The MYC gene key nuclear regulatory protein controls cell cycle by binding to DNA. This oncogene found in human tumors causes uncontrolled cell growth through persistent or excessive MYC oncoproteins. Cell cycle regulatory proteins. It involves cyclins, cyclin-dependent kinases, and cyclin-dependent kinases inhibitors with the G1 to S phase being a crucial checkpoint. The mutations in cyclins and cyclin-dependent kinases, particularly cyclin D and CDF4, are significant growth-promoting signals in cancers. These are some examples of tumors having such oncogene. The next cancer-related gene is growth-suppressing anti-oncogenes or tumor-suppressing anti-oncogenes. The mutation of normal growth suppressor anti-oncogenes behave like growth-promoting oncogenes. Anti-oncogenes or tumor suppressors typically act during the G1 to S phase transition, inducing cell cycle exit or loss of dividing capability. These are some examples of tumors having such oncogene. Next, genes regulating apoptosis and cancer. 
apoptosis in normal cells is regulated by CD95 and other genes. Cancer cells, however, can interfere with apoptosis due to mutations in these genes leading to tumor development. The next one is DNA damage and repair system. Normally, cells repair DNA damage during mitosis to maintain genome integrity. Defective DNA repair systems caused by mutations or exogenous factors can lead to cancer. These are some examples of mutator genes linked to cancer-prone inherited disorders. MicroRNA and cancer. These are short, non-cutting RNA molecules, regulate gene expression, and are involved in cancer development. These are a subset of MRNAs, can act as tumor suppressors, promoters, or proapoptotic factors. We have understood the genes related to cancer and cell growth. Now we will learn about the types of carcinogenesis. There are three types of carcinogenesis. Chemical carcinogenesis, physical carcinogenesis, and biologic carcinogenesis. First, the chemical carcinogenesis. Chemical carcinogens induce cancer after delay influenced by factors like dose, the administration mode, and individual susceptibility. The carcinogenesis process involves three stages primarily through gene mutations as shown. The first stage is initiation. During this phase, chemical carcinogen known as an initiator interacts with the cell. These initiators can be direct tacting, which means they are already active and do not need metabolic activation, or indirect tacting requiring metabolic conversion to become carcinogenic. Direct tacting carcinogens like alkylating agents directly damage DNA, while indirect tacting carcinogens need metabolic activation in the body. They are converted into reactive forms that can then interact with DNA. The key event here is the damage to the DNA leading to mutations. This damage becomes permanent if not repaired, setting the stage for potential cancer development. Following initiation, we move to promotion. Promoters are substances or conditions that encourage the proliferation of these initiated cells. Promoters do not damage DNA directly, but enhance the effect of the initial damage by promoting cell division of the altered cells. Examples of promoters include forbol esters found in plants and certain hormones. This stage is crucial because it increases the number of initiated cells, raising the chances of genetic changes. The final stage is progression. Here, the initiated and promoted cells undergo further genetic changes, leading to malignancy. Key features of this stage include development of more aggressive phenotype, where cells show characteristics of malignancy like invasiveness and metastases. Additional mutations accumulate, enhancing the cell's ability to proliferate uncontrollably and resist apoptosis. The tumor becomes more autonomous, less dependent. External growth factors and can invade surrounding tissues and metastasize. This stage marks the transition from precancerous state to full-blown cancer where the tumor grows and becomes clinically significant. The next type is physical carcinogenesis. It involves agents that are not chemical in nature but can still induce significant cellular changes leading to cancer. In this topic, we'll focus on two primary categories of physical carcinogens, radiation, which includes both ultraviolet light and ionizing radiation and non-radiation agents, which, while less common, are still significant. Let's dive into how these physical factors crucial role in carcinogenesis. Ultraviolet light and ionizing radiation are the two main forms of radiation carcinogens. They both are carcinogens that cause mutations and cancer after long latency period. They can act as co-carcinogens, enhancing the effect of other carcinogens and may involve initiation, promotion, and progression stages. The main source of ultraviolet radiation is the sunlight. Ultraviolet radiation has three subtypes, UVA, B, and C. Out of these, UVB is most carcinogenic. In humans, excessive exposure to UV rays can cause various forms of skin cancers, squamous cell carcinoma, basal cell carcinoma, and malignant melanoma. Let's understand its mechanism. Ultraviolet radiation primarily causes DNA damage, particularly pyrimidine dimers, which can lead to mutations and cancer. Ionizing radiation, including X-rays, alpha, beta, and gamma rays, can cause various cancers in animals and humans. The risk increases with higher doses and highlight energy transfer radiation like neutrons and alpha rays. 
let's understand the mechanism of ionizing radiation. Ionizing radiation damages DNA through direct alteration or free radical formation, potentially causing mutagenesis, chromosomal breakage, translocation, or point mutations. Biologic carcinogenesis. It refers to the process by which biological agents, primarily infectious organisms, contribute to the development of cancer. This form of carcinogenesis is significant because certain infections can directly cause cancer or indirectly increase cancer risk by chronic inflammation, immune suppression, or by altering cellular pathways that control cell growth and death. The biologic agents implicated carcinogenesis are as follows. However, the role of viruses in the causation of cancer is more significant. Therefore, biologic carcinogenesis is largely viral carcinogenesis. Most of the common viral infections can be transmitted by one of the three ways, the horizontal, parent role, and vertical transmission. The oncogenic viruses are classified into two groups, DNA viruses and RNA viruses. These are the DNA and RNA viruses. Let's learn each type. Human papillomavirus. Low risk HPV causes benign squamous papilloma or genital warts in humans, and high risk HPV causes invasive cervical cancer and other squamous cell carcinomas and dysplasias. Epstein Barr virus causes Burkitt's lymphoma, nasopharyngeal carcinoma, and T cell lymphoma. The hepatitis B virus causes hepatocellular carcinoma. The human herpes virus A causes Kaposi sarcoma and portal effusion lymphoma. The RNA viruses, human T lymphocytic virus, it has two types. The type 1 causes adult T cell leukemia lymphoma. The type 2 causes T cell variant of hairy cell leukemia. And the hepatitis C virus, it causes hepatocellular carcinoma. Parcinogenesis caused by parasites. Fasciola hepatica causes bile duct carcinoma. And schistosoma hematobium causes bladder cancer. Carcinogenesis caused by bacteria. The Helicobacter pylori causes gastric carcinoma. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe.